Welcome back everyone to episode four of the Red Brick Reno. And we're now airtight. Joined by Dean and Darren from Backman Builders. Where are we? What, what, what's, what's happening? Yeah, it's a, probably the most exciting day we've had on site for a long time. It's uh, you know, been such an awesome project. The guys have been working hard through and we're gonna find out we're at 23 air changes before we got cracking. So we're gonna see live in a minute exactly where we're at. Yep. Um, before we start heading into finished floors, uh, we've got the waterproofing down, so tiling's nearly ready. Uh, and joinery is going to start install, being installed next week. So we are, yeah, we're moving along and um, yeah, it's exciting. Looking forward to it all coming together. All right, so full disclaimer, we actually haven't spun the blower door yet to see what the end result is. So everyone watching, you're going to see this for the first time as we do. Um, I've done a walk around, everything looks exceptionally well detailed. Um, there's certainly nothing obvious to us. We've done the baseline on the blower door already. Um, so we kind of know what we've already got to set up with. So let's get to it. We'll set up to 50 pascals of pressure and see what that result is. Let's go. So the fan will probably just overcompensate to begin with a little bit. But then we'll, uh, yeah, we'll, we should have some, some results very soon. All right, so we're already sub two air changes an hour. So as Dean said, we were at 23. So this is personally the most significant difference um, or improvement that I've had in a project for an existing house. So from 23 to, uh, look, we're getting close to one and a half air changes an hour now. So we're almost at that point of the benefit, one air change an hour um, requirement. I think, dare say, with a little bit more detailing on the, um, some of the leakage that we'll find now as we walk around the home, we'll probably have this sitting around one air change an hour. So that's a phenomenal result. Well done, back with the team. Thanks, Anthony. And you know, it's awesome to see this figure. The brief of the job was to make it more energy efficient so we didn't have our clients being cold and yeah well and truly you can feel it in here you can feel the quality of the air and uh more of an airtight home so yeah it's, it's exciting number to see we're so, at 1. Yeah. 1.5 great result all right we might um walk around now and just sort of showcase some of the air leakage that we can find and how we might rectify some of that as well and get that number a little bit lower but at the moment that's sitting at a really fantastic uh, result. And uh, considering we've got mechanical ventilation in this project, I couldn't be happy with that, so. Yep. after walking around and identifying some of the air leakage and sealing it up. Um, we found it sort of in the gap between where the new UPVC windows had been retrofitted against the existing hardwood timber reveals. We found one of the GPOs had not been sealed and you know, we were able to identify that during that as well. With all of that combined, we have seen a result of 0.96 air changes an hour at 50 pascals of pressure. Now look, that meets Enifit standard. That's an incredible result from Backman and the team and just Dean yourself and Darren and uh, you know, Absolutely. congratulations. Thanks mate, yeah. yeah. No, we're all excited. We just had a big pump up session. Our client was in here. It was uh, yeah, a bit of a mission, everyone walking around and that's just the fun of it. Like it, it, it's uh, yeah, everyone working together and watching those numbers just bounce down, bounce up a little bit, uh, you know, and as Anthony mentioned, it's some of the challenges with it is we've got some of the old horsehair plaster here where we've had some windows retrofitted. So yep. yeah, there's that like sort of almost hairline crack uh, that we've got the horsehair fibers um, where we've filled the windows and that needed a little bit more work. Yeah. Um, and yeah, obviously an electrical box was a big one and yeah, you just get onto it, but 
it's um, awesome with the outlier team, the client, and backman builders and our crew um, to achieve sub sub one air changes. Sub one air changes an hour on yeah. an existing home. So how do we do it? So the subfloor has been completely wrapped um, to the underside of the joist, so that's now all airtight. That's all been insulated. We've got particle board flooring down over the top of that. For the particle board flooring, that's been taped and sealed at all the exterior and interior walls because we've got an old fitted floor that the interior walls are also leaking air um, up into that roof space through the um, stud framing. And so that's all been sealed to the plasterboard and now all that plasterboard is now airtight and we've installed, Dean and the team have installed uh, airtight GPO or general power outlets and light switch boxes. So that's all nice and airtight. And then the ceiling's all been, also been refurbished in areas as well. So the wall vents that we traditionally see in older homes, they've all been sealed. Uh, and you know, just around all of the uh, UPVC windows, um, that's all been sealed up as well. And along the picture framing. And of course the chimney. Now like that collectively, has yeah, been able to provide that, you know, that result. There is mechanical ventilation. I know we've mentioned that beforehand. Yep. So we'll be able to touch on that further in the next episode, both thereafter. Yep. Yeah. Look, again, fantastic result. Hope everyone enjoyed this. Um, and uh, if you've got any questions, please reach out. Uh, and as always, please you know, follow along, like, and subscribe, because that's how we get exposure and that's how we're able to keep producing more of this content. All right guys, so it's been a week since we've been here and done the blower tour test with Anthony. Uh, as we saw last week, we've gone from over 23 air changes an hour in pre-construction before we started, and we're down to 0.96 air changes an hour, which is in the realms of and a fit for passive house. So this house is not going to be a passive house, but it's got all the elements. We're gonna bring in a HRV system. We've got the high performance windows. Uh, we've obviously got the air tightness here with the ProClimber products. Um, as we've seen some of the really cool details that obviously take time but just really change how this home is. Uh, the subfloor is the critical one. Uh, the connections through from the subfloor to our airtight barrier which is our plaster. So that's all the internal walls, external walls uh, is such a critical component. Um, the subfloor uh, anywhere we've affected is re-insulated and it's like really cosy in here. So yeah, one of the really cool details that we've seen uh, that I really like is the internal uh, doorways. So obviously we, we get a lot of air from a subfloor from in the roof cavity uh, and that gets into our walls. So there's gaps between plates, studs, uh, floor, the whole work. So the, the actual attention to detail by putting a wrap around the frame opening for it uh, and taping that up is, is pretty critical. If we didn't have that, we would still getting, be getting a lot of air leaks in the home. Uh, but yeah, so pretty much as we've come in, the guys have done a great job. We've been ecstatic and the vibes have been amazing on site. Uh, and it's, it just goes to show like with the attention to detail, we can really change the comfort, uh, the energy efficiency and overall the health of the home by introducing these details. So yeah, we'll have a look around and show you what we're up to. As I said, it's been a week. Uh, we've now got our recycled floors in, which are ba basically been removed. Our client was really keen on integrating some recycled and sustainable products. So these floors have some nail holes through them. Um, it's looking really rustic. It's gonna have more of a wax finish on this, which is gonna come up really nice. Uh, it's gonna flow through. We've got our um, cabinet maker, Harry, has been in busy putting the kitchen. Uh, we've got the ensuite vanity in with some cabinetry. Um, we've got splashes through here of uh, recycled shelving and I'll cover that off with Harry himself in a minute. Um, but we've got yeah, some great elements coming together. Our tiler's got some pretty cool looking finishes coming into the ensuite. 
So yeah, we're, we're heading into the really fun stage of this project. Um, so we'll, we'll come in, we'll have a look at the kitchen and a chat about the joinery. Cheers. So like we've spoken about in the last week, we've had a lot happening. Um, we've had the reclaimed floors going down. We've had the Tyler busy and this man who's been on episode two. Last time we were standing in the kitchen in your factory, mate. Yep. Yep. And this time we're pretty much nearly insta um, finished installing. So um, yeah, it's looking amazing. We've had an awesome collaborative process with our client, design team, build team, which is obviously you're a part of with yep. the joinery. Uh, and you know each intricate detail. Um, it's not always the easiest working with an existing no. space. So no. we've had a couple of fun things to work in with some walls we haven't touched and so forth. Um, but yeah, mate, let us know what's um, what's left in here and what's the next steps for you. Yep. So the, most of the kitchen's in. Uh, more fine details, adjusting um, all the doors, all the drawers. Um, we're just about to put in some of the timber work. Um, all the floating shelves with LED lighting. So working with electricians today to do that. Um, and then really will be the stone measure and then wait for that to get put in. And then it's handed over to the finishing, a few more finishing trades. So yep. yeah, so this is a blended recycle mess mate, which are floating shelves you're working on. Yep. Um, it's got uh, like a matte finish, water base yes. finish on that. Yep. And then yeah, we'll sort of span that out for the camera, but we're Put the rebates in here with some LED lighting. So the sparkies and yourself, obviously with air tightness, uh, it's an important part of what we do. And um, we've brought you in on some training and bold door tests yep. and everything. So the, the whole team's informed on you know what they need to do and what to be mindful of. So yep. you know spending that little bit more time and effort with the electricians and carpenters to kind of step through how we're bringing cables through, when they're going to be sealed, yep. if we're going to have holes to, to run through it. So. Yeah, a lot of that comes in planning. We've probably had a lot of conversations about yeah. elements, but um, yeah, it's looking terrific, mate. So we're pretty pumped to see final Perfect. result. Um, but yeah, looking forward to seeing this finished, yeah, mate. Thank you, so am I. Awesome. Uh, so let's start just looking here first. This is what I was talking about earlier. Cool little detail. We've got our pro climber wrap here. We've used uh, off cuts so that we're not obviously having waste. We keep all of our off cuts to use in certain circumstances and that's, that's it here. So this is taking some teamwork here with obviously the carpenters and then working in the waterproofing as we come in. Um, you know, the obvious thing that we see in bathrooms and en suites is tiling. Outlier Studio with the interior design here have done a really cool job. The client's gone through collaborating with that early days to go and have a look, spend the time, pick out what they'd like. Um, so we, you know, throwing in some really nice color here with the green. We've got more of a traditional 600 by 600 tile. Um, we're flowing through some brass fittings um, with the fixtures and fittings. So the tile trim and everything, we're just keeping uniform. Um, so that's obviously all a work in progress at the moment. Uh, one of the biggest things with Wet areas, uh, it is a lot of teamwork that goes in. So collaboration for us doesn't just stop for design and then our clients, it flows right through the project with all of our trades. Uh, you can't afford to have mistakes in a bathroom. So electricians, plumbers, carpenters, the details for the insulation, the air tightness, it all flows through. Um, we can't have a trade come in, knock holes in and affect our air tightness now we're under one. Um, so that's something we'll retest again. Um, but as we've come through, the, the timber flows through this project. We've seen here, um, Recycled Mess Mate. Uh, Harry's done an awesome job of this. It's gonna come up fantastic when it's finished with some stone. 
uh, fixtures and fittings are gonna take place and yeah, they're really gonna pop. So might not be the biggest bathroom for a two bedroom home, but it is going, going to look amazing. Uh, so yeah, have a look through the details, but you know, one of the favorite things that we're gonna like to see is these tiles. There's obviously various patterns with subway tiles, different shapes and formats. Got a bit of a rustic finish to the edges. They're not all clean cut. Um, and then yeah, we've left out sections here where we've got to have some shaving cabinets, some feature mirrors and so forth. So yeah, a lot of communication. Um, if we go back to episode one, I think we had in there, we're talking about what we're keeping, reusing. So these architraves, we've pulled off the old windows, kept them in, and we're gonna obviously refinish them to make sure they're looking uh, brand new, basically. So yeah, this is, this is basically the gist of a bathroom in its working sense before it looks all cleaned up and smick. It's uh, obviously looking a little bit messy. There's tilers and guys working, doing cutouts and keeping it going. So it's gonna to come together in the next couple of weeks as we head towards the finishes. All right, guys, so that's pretty much a wrap for episode four. We've shown you through, blow door test results are in. It's gonna show how the livability of a home can be improved and much more comfortable and healthy. Uh, we've got the finishing touches coming together here. So, you know, this series is progressing. Um, hopefully, we're getting some great insights if you're watching along. Um, what we would love to see is liking and subscribing our channel so that we can just keep bringing you this content and, and educating people and showing you what's involved in a real building site as we work as a collaborative team. And uh, yeah, looking forward to showing you the finished results in the coming weeks. Cheers, guys.